Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a really exciting video. I'm going to be testing eBay makeup. Um, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube of the makeup that eBay sells and some of it I think has been okay, like really full coverage and the most part of it is dreadful. Um, but I wanted to give it a try anyhow and see how it covers up my acne um so yeah i may as well go straight into it i got um foundation concealer i've already done my eyes so i thought i'd just do the face um foundation concealer powder and some really cheap looking contour sticks um if we start with the foundation i don't know how you say this name i'm probably going to say it wrong like several times i'm assuming it's fora 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 something like that anyway um it looks like that so i literally typed into ebay i think um full coverage foundation and this was one of the top ones that came up so i thought i'll try that um I'll get it out of the packaging. So yeah, it looks like this. Like the box, it looks okay. Like when I received that, I was like, ooh, okay, that's all right. And then I opened it up and I was like, mm. Um, but yeah, it looks like that. It's just got a little plasticky pump. It's all plasticky and cheap. Um, I think it was literally like four or five pound though so you can't really argue with the packaging it was really cheap um it might come out slightly darker on me today because i bought it in the um in a darker shade for when i usually tan and i've not tanned yet so i'll just blend it down my neck um then i got a full coverage concealer by the same brand and this one looks okay it looks like um got some of the Maybelline Fit Me concealers and it kind of reminded me of oh that's a really dirty one yeah it kind of reminded me of the Maybelline Fit Me um, and, it, and the Nars ones as well it looks like that so it just looks like that and I, again I got it in like a darker shade for when I usually tan um, it's in shade custard and I think this was like £3 or something ridiculous as well. And then when I searched in for like translucent powder, it came up with the brand that actually sells in, if you're from the UK, um, I think Body Care sell it. Um, it's, I think it's Technique, Technique, or Technique, however you want to say it. But yeah, that brand there. Um... It's super fine translucent powder, so it just looks like that. I'm not sure how good that will be. Again, it was like a couple of pound, and then the the, the contour. I was gonna get like um a cream palette, but then I saw these from the same brand again. I just thought I may as well give these a go. They were cheaper. I don't think they're gonna work, but I'm hoping that they surprise me. So yeah, I also got some eBay brushes as well. Now I always use eBay brushes, even in like my day-to-day -day makeup routine. Um, so I bought some more because I do really like them and I have used them once already. Um, but they've got like this marble effect and like rose gold. And then I bought another set, more for the eyes. You'll have to excuse my hair, it's shocking at the moment, but um, I don't really care about it right now. Um, oh. yeah I got some eye shadow brushes as well I've already done my eyes with them um, they're pretty much like dupes of the Zoeva um, set they're not as good obviously but they're okay Like especially if you're a beginner or something um, I think they're perfect so yeah I'm going to use my eBay brushes as well so I use the Kate McIver Secret Weapon Serum I bloody love this stuff. It's been doing wonders for my skin. So I just drop. I try and 
try not to use too much. Oh, because it does run. And just spread that all over. Okay, and then let's try the foundation. I have tried it like, on the back of my hand and the coverage was really good but I've got a feeling that this is going to oxidise as well so it's already going to be too, too dark for my skin and then it's going to oxidise which is just going to look bloody ridiculous but let's give it a go so I'm just going to pump some onto the back of my hand and then I'm just going to use one of the eBay brushes and then just dip it in. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have to grab a mirror because it's really hard to see. I've not used much of it at all. Actually really like this coverage it's a soft matte finish oh look at that tan it's disgusting <laughs> what even am I I don't know anymore um yeah it's a soft matte finish and I have to say I don't tend to go for matte it does last longer but like my skin's really dry at the moment because I'm on Accutane and I just I don't know it makes it look more dry and not as natural as like a more dewy foundation would okay so I do need some more pumps of that because I've just used two pumps and it's just all gone already I'm going to blend it down my neck because I have got that dodgy foundation still on <laughs> that's one thing I love about like high neck tops when your tan's gone a bit like patchy and you still need to scrub it all off and reapply it just, just whack on a high neck top Bob's your uncle. Okay. I'm going to try and just use one more pump. Oh. It's definitely oxidising because it's oxidised on my hand already. The coverage is really good. For like £4, I think it was. I'll link it below. Um just so that you can like find it and check the price again because I'm not 100% look at that I don't know if you can see that well do you know what the finish isn't bad either it's not that like it's matte but it's still got a bit of a glow to it I'm actually really excited about this also really scared because it's ebay makeup and I have acne it's probably not the best idea to be putting some random ebay foundation on my skin but you know, do it for the video. Oh God, this is the thing with eBay brushes as well. The hairs do come out a lot. Mm. There we go. 
I always take my time with the foundation and just push it and pat it into the skin just so that it blends out nicely evenly and you still get that full coverage as well Do you know what? Oh, I'm really surprised. Like, hello, four pound, four pound. I'm gonna put you in the um, like sunlight, direct light, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Excuse my dry, very dry lips, that's Accutane. That's really impressive. Okay. Um. <coughs> right, let's try the concealer. I'm a bit worried about the concealer because it's quite dark. I'm way too close. Um, I don't think I. I don't really want to do my under eyes with it. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Yeah, that is dark. I might have to skip under the eyes. But I'm just gonna go in with a little eBay brush again and try this. I'm just gonna conceal. Any spots? There's a tiny bit darker, so I'm going to go and blend it out with my foundation brush afterwards. Is that the right? No, that's not my brush. <gasps> <laughs> so I just tap in it all out, blending it. Concealer's okay. It's a bit annoying that it's darker than the foundation. It looked lighter around nine. But it is okay, I can't really complain. Okay, right, on to the powder. No. Okay, right, on to the, the contour sticks. Not sure how I feel about this. Actually quite scared. I've used um, like contour sticks in the past, like the cheaper ones. I think it was like a, a Rimmel one. Um, and as soon as I put it on my face, it literally just drew a white line and rubbed all my foundation off. And I've never used one since. So, let's try this out. I don't have to just do it differently. Like, instead of doing a line, do like little dots and then try and blend it in. Let's try that. So I'm going to go from here. I definitely did press on that. It's literally just wiping the foundation onto the stick. <laughs> oh no. There's a little bit there. Let's try this side. Literally just taking all my foundation off and putting it onto this. Maybe if I get the brush. It's just really hard. It looks like a crayon and it feels like a crayon. It's awful. Right. Let's try and blend that out. <laughs> Oh 
Oh no. What is that? Can't even see anything. There's like the tiniest like definition there. But it's like, it's a muddy colour as well. It's not. Where's the product? It's not on my face. Let's try my nose. Ow, it hurts. It's so hard. It's not like creamy or soft at all. Why am I doing this? I'm just going to try my best and contour in places that I'd usually contour. I'm actually having to avoid any spots because this will hurt pressing on them. I mean, when it is on, it's not like too hard to blend out. It's actually blending into the foundation. Whereas, like I said, I used contour sticks before and it just completely wiped off the foundation. It's not doing that. I just can't see any colour payoff, really. Like it looks, it looks a lot darker than what it is. Okay, I hate that. That was horrible. Never again. Um, let's try the other stick that's in there, which is this cream contouring, cream contouring crayon. It's just a crayon. There's no cream to this. Um, this one's lighter, so I'm going to try this under my eyes. <laughs> oh, God. Literally, I feel like I'm just wiping everything off. I'm having to press so hard, you can see it, like, dragging my skin. using the same brush that I used to blend the contour out there's no bloody contour there yeah it's cheap but you can tell and then it comes with this highlighter stick this is the only highlighter I've got guys I wish I'd gone for like a powdery one off eBay but I thought you know, it comes in a set of three. It was, again, really cheap, so why not? But a crayon highlighter. <gasps> what is that? Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, look how like cakey and gross it makes my skin look. Mm. I'm just going for it now. No, that's not for me. I'm going to blend it out, but... Look at my nose. I don't know if you can see that. It's 
it's literally I look so cross-eyed right now. Look at that. And it's like taking some off my nose. I mean, this is not a pretty look. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to make this work now. Ooh, that is not highlight. That is just mess. Pure mess. But, okay. Guys, just don't, don't buy eBay. <coughs> don't buy eBay makeup. Because I look, I don't look a hot mess, I look a mess. An actual mess. Like from a distance, it probably doesn't look that bad, but you go up close and it's all like settling into my pores. I can already see like creases and wrinkles where I don't have wrinkles. It's just... My forehead looks gross. Uh -uh. Just like keeps coming off in places. Let's just um, go in with this bad boy and set it all. I really don't want to set it all, I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't want to set this. I've got to go out. I've got to go out in a bit. Um, I don't have, oh shoot, stay, I don't have an eBay brush, um, for my powder, I've used them all on this cream crap, I'm just going to use a normal brush. You tell by my face how happy I am with these products. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to set all over my face. I literally just got a cloud powder dust. Cloud powder. A cloud a powder cloud. A powder cloud is what I'm trying to say. What is wrong with me? Guys, this makeup's getting to my head. Oh. Oh my god. This is a vile. Okay. I'm going to show you this because this is pretty much done but let me put some lipstick on i was like i really need to shut up in this liner i've got nothing left i need to scrub my lips in a bit if i don't apply lip balm with like every half an hour whilst on accutane they just dry up so fast and I've not applied it for a bit. Now a great look. Ugh. This is definitely like a tutorial not to follow. <laughs> this is how you should not do your makeup. I'm actually appalled. I thought, I knew it would go bad. I didn't think it would go this bad. Uh, my lips are dry. My eyebrows are now powdery because of the powder. Um, my makeup's patchy and cakey. 
but hey. Um, I'm trying to find like daylight. See on camera, it doesn't look that bad. It looks okay. You're all gonna be like, what the hell Abby? It actually looks nice. But in person. All in all, to be fair, the foundation and concealer were actually okay. I think that's what's saving my face right now and it doesn't look that bad on camera. In person, it's not great and it does oxidise. <coughs> um, but, yeah, the technique, technique, I think is how you say it, the technique stuff. Nah, don't even go there. These cream contour crayons they are crayons i will give these to my three-year-old son to draw with and this this stuff i will use as talcum powder for my baby i won't actually don't worry <laughs> but it's so powdery it's not like a nice powdery or like a, this is super fine it's just it's the stuff that you will choke on horrible and it smells nasty. This lighting is like changing all the time. Oh god. You know your eyes get really sensitive to light when you're on Accutane. I did not know that until I stepped outside one day and I was like blinded. But now I know. I know you guys know if you didn't already. I'm gonna finish up because I need to go and do some stuff for the day so I will leave you with this gorgeous face it doesn't look that bad on camera my lips look awful hmm <laughs> okay let me know what you thought of um, this look and the foundation and if you actually like the Technique brand if I'm using it wrong which I don't think I am but um, let me know your thoughts on it if you've tried any other eBay makeup if you want me to do another video like this testing reviewing makeup and how it covers up my acne um, yeah just let me know what you want to see and I'll try my best to record it and not make such a mess but yeah i hope you all have a lovely 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 day and keep smiling stay positive and hopefully i'll see you in my next video love you all bye